What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we're looking at a Tac Force Firefighter knife. I think this is one of the newer ones that they've launched. It seems to be pretty good, all aluminum handle, but is the TF637 assisted opening. So let's dive into it and let's see what this thing's got. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and look at this trigger. It seems to be a little bit closer to the handle, so you might have a little trouble getting your finger right there on it, but, you know, it's so-so on the speed. Let me give you a close-up right here on this blade. So, right here you have you just your standard drop point blade, which is pretty cool, though, because they do have a blood groove that they've done right there on the top of it. Half serration, half straight blade. Large bevel on it with your Tac Force logo right there. You do have only a single thumb stud, not a dual thumb stud. And then right here they have some jimpings that are incorporated into the blade and as well as the handle. Not a very large choil down there for choking up or anything. Back side of the blade right there. You know, it seems to be fairly sharp. You know, right out of the box. And, you know, a lot of times with these cheaper knives, they don't really hold a blade well. So, I tell you what, we'll come back. We'll talk about the handle and the pocket clip and things. But let's go see how sharp this blade really is. All right, let's check out the sharpness on this thing real quick. See what we got right here. Let's do a straight down cut. And it catches pretty good. And, you know, for a cheaper knife, it actually ran halfway decent down it until, you know, it was getting to that serration. So, let's try an angle cut real quick. So right here, still catches fine. That time it ran almost the whole length. So right out of the box, it's not too bad. With it being a drop point, I'm not expecting this tip to be much, but let's check it out. Actually, if you barely get in, it's not a whole lot of push, but you're definitely gonna have some push to it. But right here, minor rips. You know, and then down here where it hits your serration. So right out of the box, guys, this blade is not too bad. You throw this thing on a stone, you know, really get it sharpened up. You might have yourself a pretty good little blade right there. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this handle real quick. So got a nice red little plating right there. All aluminum handle with your stainless steel platings right there. Again, you have your jimpings right up there that run and incorporated into the blade. So if I have it in my hand and I pull it out, with me, I would probably choke on up a little bit and use the ones on the blade. However, with smaller hands, you could get back here and really get better control. They actually seem to be spread out rather nice. You know, they're not too far apart. So the grooves in there really allow you to get better control of, I guess, the knife. But if you were to choke up, just be careful because the choil right there is not big at all and your finger is going to be resting on, you know, that serration part. So just be careful there. But you seem to have pretty good control of this knife right here. So right back down here, you got your little window breaker, glass breaker right there. Seat belt cutter. Then let's close this. Well, before we close it, let's take a look at that. Your closing mechanism is going to be that liner lock. So to close it, just push that inner piece back like that and push it down and you are good to go there again just a single thumb stud this is what it looks like closed you know that lighting that we have in here almost makes it look an orangish color or at least from what i'm looking at in this camera screen but it is a darker red right there the back side of it the belt clip it actually seems to be pretty beefy it does have a large divot which you know a lot of times with these beefier ones, they can fray your pocket over time. Now, one thing I don't like about it is that it does not sit high on the knife. So, as you can see right here, you're going to have about that much sticking out of your pocket when you carry it. But, I tell you what, since we're on it, let's go see how this thing, I guess, feels and looks like in the pocket. Let's check it out, guys. See what this thing's going to look like. All right. So, got it sitting right here. As you can see, it does have a... Well, I won't say a large dip, but your dip is definitely going to be right there at the end. But there's the push in right there. It's not as smooth as I would hope it would be, but that wasn't too bad. The print on it, eh, you do have a little bit of print, 
you see right here with this belt clip, they put it high, but they also didn't start the curvature until right down here. So you do have about three fourths of an inch sticking out of your pocket. Now your single hand right here, grab for it. So if I'm looking, eh, it slides out okay. Let's try to slide in one more time. Let's try a single hand slide in. Yeah, it's just a, you can tell it's a cheaper type pocket clip on it, but it will slide out okay. Trigger is right there, which is good. And even on the concealed side of it, it's not too bad right there because you're only gonna have that little pocket clip. However, you would have to worry about the printing, but a single hand pull out, it feels like it's gonna catch. I don't see much fraying though because it doesn't have such a deep little hole right here. But guys, that's it and you're ready to go. Okay, so it felt you know pretty lightweight in the pocket. It moves around okay you know just be careful with that thumb stud it might get caught right there on the top of the pocket but overall that didn't seem to be too bad so one thing that it did well you know it feels heavy heavier in my hand to be an all aluminum knife and it is actually rather let me show you this it's actually a good size everyday carry pocket knife right here and it has a lot of tools incorporated into this knife. So for a cheaper knife like this, you definitely have a lot of tools to play with. But one thing that I do wanna do is go check out the weight of this knife and also get the measurements of this blade and the total length as well. All right, let's see what the weight is on this thing. All right, so this thing's actually on the heavier side. So let's get the measurements on it real quick. So about eight and a quarter inch uh, overall length with a three and a quarter inch blade. Let's close this thing up, see what we're looking at. Close, we're gonna be about four and a half inches. Okay, so guys, this is not too bad of an everyday carry pocket knife. Again, you do have a lot of tools incorporated in it. Fits fine in the pocket. It was a tad bit heavier than I thought, but it's still not a problem for an everyday carry. Fast trigger, it seems to be getting faster as I mess with it. And right here, don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but you do have a divot right here or a cutout groove to get to that thumb stud. And you can also open the blade up like that. And the more that I've started playing with some of these knives, I really like opening them by that thumb stud a little bit better than using that trigger. However, you've got either option, and of course, you know, you could always pull the knife open manually, just like that. But, pretty fast spring on it, so not a bad option if you're looking for a cheaper everyday carry. The Firefighter logo right there in the center. But guys, hope that helped. Again, this is the TF637, almost said 639, but the TF637 Firefighter Knife by Tag Force. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Appreciate you watching. I hope the review helped. If you want to win a knife like this or other knives that we've been reviewing, there's a link in the description to our Friday night knife giveaway. If y'all want to go check that out, and I'll see y'all in the next one.